Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? If you're new, do not forget to subscribe and join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 20 books I read in August. Oh my god, I read 20 books. <laughs> it's surprising. I'm just so happy, basically. So I read 16 physical books, which I cannot carry and show you guys now. I read four on my Kindle, although on my Kindle I DNF'd one. So that's a total of, wait, will I say I read if I didn't finish one? So let's talk about them. So the first book I read is Cut Off by Liz Tomford. This is the third book in the Windy city series i keep mixing it up <laughs> am i right i've read my eye i've read um the right move okay so this one talks about kai and Mila. kai is a single dad is a baseball player and he takes his child as his old world and when you see the way he treats his son max oh my god you'll be like damn and then the way max is so cute <laughs> you'll be like my oh <laughs> Mila is a chef, but she's the kind of chef that moves from different countries to different country, like around. She doesn't want to stay. She lives in a van. While Kai wants to settle down, he needs stability because of his child, Max. So the way they met was actually really funny. They met in the elevator where she was carrying alcohol and he was judging her like, who is this person at 10 a.m. drinking alcohol? Like this person should not even touch my child and stuff like that but turned out that he needed a nanny that's another crazy part kai is always always firing all the nannies so everybody in the team was like okay you you need a nanny asap we're not going to cover for up for you anymore although they love max but you know he's taking advantage of that fact and he's stuff like that yeah so that's how they met and honestly i really really enjoyed this this was funny it was as funny as mile high honestly in my own opinion though i gave it a 4.5 stars because it was repetitive and i think i've noticed that already with liz stormford's book well i didn't notice it with my hair because i was just so happy and kept reading but uh the right move had a lot of repetitions i would go frustrating at one point but this one also had the same kind of repetition repetition i i want somebody that's gonna last that's gonna be here for the long haul not somebody that's just going to leave in the next few months and stuff like that so it's giving a little bit of forbidden romance i bought it ready with my friend promise and she also gave me four stars uh it was actually a good read i really enjoyed it i read these two books madeline by madeline miller i imagine read uh i started with cersei then as i was maybe 20 percent into cersei one of my susans asia she was like uh you should read Song of Achilles first because there are some spoilers in Cersei. And I was like, okay. But Promise was like, no, she doesn't think so. But I decided to just follow what my student said. So I paused this and I picked up this. And guys, this is crazy. The Song of Achilles is about Achilles and Patroclus. Patroclus is supposed to be a prince, but he got exiled. Then Achilles is a prince, but a demigod because his mother is a goddess. And yeah. There's a whole backstory to it. So we just see how the two of them stuck together through thick and thin. How their relationship bloomed because in this book they are gay. And while I finished this, I decided to go and check out who Patroclus is because I've never even heard of these Greek gods or goddesses before. Then I started to learn some things. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. But seriously, I really enjoyed it. But I did not cry prior to everybody's everybody's always crying everybody's always saying they cry oh my god this book is gonna break your heart but i did not cry and that was what let me down and also i felt like i saw some things were going to happen i knew before they happened and I, that was like a kind of letdown from because i was like oh i knew it was going to go in this direction and then it did and then the end yes although the end made me like you know that kind of feeling where you're not crying you're not sad you're happy but it's like if a satisfied feeling that was what i got at the end of this book it was wow <laughs> they went through a lot honestly but i do i do feel like patroclus was too passive while achilles was too dog-headed or less egotistical because then but then again i can't fault them because in those days the ego the pride the honor everything is what makes a man so 
yeah but i just wish that patroclus was more outspoken because most of the conversations we were reading were in his head he was not saying it so oh and then achilles mother hates him with passion and then i saw the reason i saw anyway i saw it coming i saw it coming anyway i gave this four stars yeah i enjoyed the story and i feel like if i was not listening to it i wouldn't have uh, flowed so well because the names were so crazy (laughs) names were difficult to pronounce and i hate history but that's beside the point then i went back into cersei and oh my god cersei cersei so cersei is a demigod so she's immortal and then we see how her life goes from being a god to being exiled and then some so many other things happening this while i was reading this i just kept on remembering the invisible life of adela rue it's just that the only difference with this one is that this one she was not invisible basically because she she was a witch so she had powers and stuff she could do things but immortal while invisible of life blah, blah, blah. <laughs> invisible life of adela rue she was basically not able to do anything because of our own circumstances so yeah i really really loved loved this book i gave it five stars this was, was so good because i was rooting for Cersei all through i was immersed into the story i was like wow like i like the fact that she did some things yes she made a lot of mistakes but then again she still pulled through you know and then i now understood why my friend was asking me to read uh song of achilles first because from here we see odysseus here and odysseus actually plays a very huge role here but here we just had like a glimpse of him and his wife it was always rambling about his wife my wife Penelope. she's oh my god she's so beautiful blah 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 (laughs) oh yeah the another crazy thing is they went to war just because somebody stole on that person's bride I'm, I'm like seriously men anyway so in Cersei I really 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 loved it and the end oh god that end was mind blowing for me this was 5 stars it will always be one of my favorites then I read the whole freaking Art Stopper series what happened was my boyfriend traveled and so I had the whole weekend to myself Saturday Sunday was for me so I read these <laughs> it was so fun I was planning to do a reading vlog but I kind of chickened out of it the first book here is where we, we are introduced to the characters Nick and Charlie Charles so Nikki and Charles Charlie yeah so it's a gay book in case you cannot tell because it's written the boy meets boy yeah (laughs) so in the school Charlie was bullied some years ago because he came out as gay and it was not like he came out himself somebody actually leaked the secret and so they started bullying him and then one particular guy was not taking advantage of him while he now met nick nick was in his class but he started having a crush on nick and stuff like that and he went on like that honestly guys i have to say this is my first uh i wanted to say manga it's not manga of course (laughs) this is my first graphic novel i'm ever reading and i loved every moment i was just blushing and i was like oh my god another thing is as you continue on i gave the first book four stars but the rest are five stars each and it's because in the rest she touches on queer representation like how life is difficult for gay people how you don't understand them how there are other sexualities and here it's expanded on more and then there are troubles and then some mental health issues were also touched in this book so it's 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 quite interesting honestly i enjoyed myself reading then i read uh one other mini comic astopa the mini comics okay so i gave that one four stars because it was actually really cute it's like seeing them in the future although i later realized that there's a book six for the astopa series it's gonna be the last book coming out so i am actually excited for that i can't wait for it i'm so excited for that the next book i read was only for the week (laughs) by natasha bishop guys (laughs) it talks about janelle and rome no wonder everybody has always been shouting about this room guy because the guy is like every girl's dream he will worship the ground anyway okay 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 so janelle's sister mary or re honestly i hated that girl uh she's getting married to janelle's ex arnold and janelle has told everybody our family she doesn't have anything uh she doesn't love arnold so it's okay you can marry him which me i don't even still uh understand that kind of relationship how dare you 
my sister date my ex-boyfriend like excuse me anyway anyway so a week before the wedding they went to have like a rest and relaxation kind of week but this re was always on janelle's neck then then there's rome arnold's best friend is rome so rome has had his eye on ha since like tay tay but he didn't make a move but now he wanted to make a move he saw what he wanted and he went for it guys it was so so cute there was also drama <laughs> i hated the sister because i felt like you should know me i'm your sister and they claim to be best friends so why would you make that kind of assumption that this is what you know so i was just pissed off but that's besides the point anyway so um the way rome was taking care of janelle oh my god oh my god and despite like four chapters into this book you can see them doing the do and you uh, okay so let me tell you guys this <laughs> i started this book when i went to the salon to get my nails done and as i was i got to the fourth chapter and the spice was no i could not i just had to be like okay i will get home and continue this book because i cannot come and embarrass myself i was squirming in my seat <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god guys it was it was so hot yeah yeah i gave it a four stars because i felt like prior to that i wish we had seen their kind of well it was spoken about a little bit but i, f I wish we'd we had more connection like more slowish born but it was just you know they had just one week to do the do together like they gave themselves that ultimatum and room room said let me be your stress stress relief doll or something like that like and guys at the end the the proposal at the end it was creative it was sweet it was romantic I body read this with my friend Kenny. She also gave it a four stars. And Kenny is not a romance girly. So I feel so proud of myself that she finally read a romance book that she liked. And she gave it a four stars. We, because the last time we tried this, she, she DNF'd the romance book. But this, she was able to pull through and she enjoyed the drama also. So yeah, yeah, it was sweet. <laughs> Rome! <laughs> Not me blushing. So guys, the next book I read are these. Defy Me and Reveal Me. These are the next book in the Shadow Me series. I'm slowly but surely getting to the end of the series. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, in Defy Me, we have Kenji, Warner, and Juliet's POV. It follows through from what happened in this novella and in the previous book directly, like immediately. And here, we see Juliet struggling to accept who she is because... There are so many secrets that were being leaked in this book. There were so many other uh, things, honestly, guys. We see who she was in the past before some things happened and now how she's been manipulated again and stuff like that. Oh my God, this... Wait, I feel like I'm wearing the back of my clothes. I am actually wearing the back of my <laughs> Let's just imagine that I'm not, okay? So we see every single thing happening. It was so intense. I could not put it down. I just wanted to get through it, read it. I wanted to see what would happen and I gave this uh, five stars. Then I went directly to read Reveal Me, which is the novella. This was, all, I think this was also in Kenji's POV. And let's see, I love Kenji's POV so much. There's no way for me to express how much I love his POV because he's funny. <laughs> and you know when Kenji's in love with someone, the way he's acting like in well, well, I want you guys to read it. Honestly, it was really, really good. I gave the, the novella four stars also. Then I read one thriller. It's Frida's thriller. The Widow's Husband's Secret Lie. It's a satirical novella. So my friends read it and they were like, oh, they don't know how to read this particular book. That They are so freaking confused. They, they enjoyed it, but they, didn't know, they don't know what to rate it, basically. So I decided to give it a try since it's a novella, yeah? It was so crazy. It talks about this couple and what happened uh i don't even know how to explain this because the book is supposed to not be taken seriously honestly <laughs> i didn't even know what to think uh, i gave it a three stars and the whole argument between this couple started with this particular dress and so when i went back to the group chat with my, my where my friends were talking about it my friend was like didn't i know about the dress that came out in 2015 there was a particular dress that people were talking about that some people saw this color and some people saw this color and this led to another fight entirely so that was what one of the things that happened here and then there were some funny unrealistic things that are happening but then it's a satirical novel so nothing should be taken seriously like the lady trying to avoid pregnancy with lead lights lead lights 
Mm-hmm. That was crazy. So yeah, it, it's it's crazy because it's meant to be a crazy book, but maybe I didn't just like it, or maybe because my first time reading it, I don't really really resonate well with it. Because at the end of the day, the plot twist was not plotting. Well, it was plotting, but it was. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to put the color of the dress. I'm going to put the dress here. And you guys, tell me what color of this dress is. Is it blue and black? Or is it white and gold? To be quite honest, I saw white and gold. But my friends saw blue and black. But some other friends saw white and gold. But there was a video where someone posted that the manufacturer said that it's actually blue and black. I don't see any black. Honestly, I don't. But please tell me what you've... What color you can see in the description box, in the comment section. I really, really like to know what color you are seeing because I'm still seeing white and gold. And I feel like maybe I'm, I'm blind. No, I'm not. I would fight. Okay. Yeah. So I gave it three stars. It was, it was a fun read, fast paced, but mm, not my fave. The next book I read are these. Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. Guys, uh, jai, jai, jai. When I started reading this, I'd already read like maybe this much. And my friend said, oh, Gracie, you need to read it with the audiobook. You need to listen to it. The audiobook is so good. So I was like, okay, let's see. And I did. So it talks about Kazi and Jace Ballinger. Kazi, Myra of Brightness. She has a past where she had to struggle to survive and Jace Ballinger is the patre of his people and patre is like the chief let's just say something like that and he vows with his blood to protect his people protect his family and protect their name the Ballinger name and the Ballingers are like a clan or like I don't know how to call them. I've forgotten what word to, I don't know what word to use, but they are very very strong family basically, and they care for all and uh, each and every one of them in the family. So they believe that they are the first kingdom, but they are not being recognized by the queen. So it's Grace and Ballinger. There's so many. Oh my God, there's history. So Kazi and her friends. <laughs> Ren and Sinove. Oh my god, I love them so much. They were meant to go to Thor's Watch, which is Jace ba- Jace, Balas- Ugh, Jace Ballinger's town or city. I don't know. It's yeah. And they were meant to go and do something, but so many other things just happened and it was oh my god, it was mind blowing. I gave Dance of Thieves 4.5, but now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I gave it 4.5 star because I didn't really understand some things at first and I was still getting to know these characters. But this one, this one, Vow of Thieves, had my heart beating so fast. I almost died of heart attack, you know? <laughs> this was my favorite, to be quite honest. This, guys, it was action packed. It just continues directly from here some things that happened honestly i can't talk about this without spoiling this but oh god it is enemies to lovers but some people argue about that according to my friend oh my god when i told her i was reading this she was so happy she was dancing she said she right now she she can die in peace because i've read her favorite books i'm like (laughs) okay so this one was action packed there was no time when you're like like my heart was beating high all through i really enjoyed it guys i really recommend these books they are, they are one of my favorites see how i annotated guys do you see how i annotated ask me what i'm annotating oh my god oh my god the found family in this book cannot be beaten honestly there are so many twists that happened and i'm like oh wow i didn't see that coming and i didn't see that coming oh my god <sighs> I almost cried at some part. The writing is beautiful. There are some, uh, there are some riddles because Kazi knows some riddles. She, it's one of the th- ways she's able to survive when she was young. So there are some riddles that were being written inside the books, and there were so many things. The writing, guys, the writing. <sighs> so the next book I read was Not in Love by Ali Azawood. Rue is a doctor. She works with a like a research company and. Eli works with another company that actually buys other company. So on a Friday, they matched on an app and they were supposed to meet to explicitly fuck. Okay. That's all they were supposed to like. That was the agreement. They were just meant to meet and, and she rule likes that kind of agreement because it makes her not attached to any particular guy and stuff. So it was the next day that she discovered it. Eli's company, but the company that she works for so she sees him as the enemy and the funniest thing is they could not actually do the do that night 
but there was this tension like you can feel the tension from that day one so that's what the book is about i really really like this because i've not seen a character like rue she's unhinged she's blunt she's sharp she just says what she wants if she she doesn't wait for, she doesn't hang around you to see if she'll become useless later no she only like she knows what she wants basically and eli likes that character i like it was so cute do you know another thing that they were doing in this book was how they were telling each other their darkest baddest secrets and they were not feeling so bad about it like they were not being judgmental they were just i just liked how you know it's a instant love kind of thing but it didn't feel like it because even before they finally lambard sorry i have to say lambard oh God, why would i say that they finally did the do do the deed <laughs> they finally did the do <laughs> they started to get to know each other but rue was trying to be careful because one of her best friends is the owner of her company so she didn't want to like be on her best best friend's bad side but there were so many things that happened this book came in double pov which was actually really cool because now we can see the guys POV. normally always would only write in the girls pov but i have to say that i didn't like how it was written because um rue's pov was in first person but eli's pov was in third person so imagine you're reading first person then the next chapter is third person and you have to like adjust to that it was exhausting actually at one point i i, I think i read it to to the middle and i realized that uh, it kept on getting other for me to flow so i decided to look for the audio and i listened alongside so that made it easier for me and a lot more fun but these two characters were funny without being without trying to be funny that's another cool part i like it's yeah this book barely had any miscommunication trope like it was so crazy different nice i gave this a four stars the next book i got into was get a life chloe brown by talia herbert so this is the second book by talia Herbert that i'm reading and i have to say i i think i really really like how she writes it's actually hilarious jesus so chloe brown has a sickness and this sickness actually causes a lot of pain for her so she doesn't really live a life she's like an introvert always inside you know always reserved and all so one day she almost died a car almost hit her and she had this universal awakening where she was imagining a eulogy <laughs> it was so funny because the eulogy was so funny so and she was like oh no if i actually die is this what will be said about me that i did not live my life so she decided that okay as from today she's gonna make a list now that's another thing she always works with lists so she decided to write a list of things that she wants to do uh and these things are like going to help her get their life basically so she moved to this apartment and the superintendent of this apartment is redford now, that's a weird name i've never had anybody with that name before red well yeah so red is actually grumpy but he's also a sweet guy and they kind of it's like enemies to lovers basically because he thought she didn't like him and he thought she is a stuck up like all these rich babes that look down on you with their nose <laughs> and then she thought why is it so nice to everyone else except me i like the part where she actually climbed a tree to save a cat honestly i found out oh, that part was so cute okay another thing i liked is the banter god i've never i don't think i've read any book that made me laugh from the first page to the end i kept on laughing like out loud i was like ah <laughs> and See, do you see how I tap this? Do you see how I tap this? That is how many times I laughed, guys. Because it's not like there was any groundbreaking, poetic writing in it. No, but it was just so funny and I kept on laughing. I really liked it. The audiobook has this narrator and the narrator's voice was so beautiful. I feel like audiobook can make or break a book if you're going to use audiobook. But this was really, really good. This was really good. Honestly, I really liked it. I gave it 4.5 stars. Then immediately after that, I jumped into Take a Hint, Danny Brown. Oh, oh, another thing I loved is the sister's dynamic, the family dynamics in this book is just so crazy. Honestly, these books, they are one of my favorites. Um, Danny Brown is the younger sister to Chloe and she's, uh, well, she's about to be a, a doctor, like academically so she has done her masters and she's only work 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 she's so focused she's a business oriented lady always focused on her job nothing more zafir oh my god zafir i love that name i really love that name zafir is a security officer but he was an ex is if i say was he's an ex rugby rugby player so uh, he sees danny every morning and he really likes her you know that kind of thing but danny doesn't want anything that has to do with commitment she wants to just you know 
and that's all she doesn't want to have to be in a relationship because she believes that she cannot handle it or she's not good enough or Zafia also has some problems something happened to him and his family and all and he has this anxiety issues i really really love the anxiety representation i loved how danny was so understanding and showed care in her own way basically oh my god this was also hilarious the banter was very funny honestly i think this lady is the queen of banter talia habit because i kept on laughing also but not as much as i laughed here so i gave this one a four stars i like how the old uh, relationship blossomed i love how this was fake dating it was it was sweet i really enjoyed it ah oh, guys the next book i read is ogadima i just finished this and i just finished ranting to my friends because it was a body read with kenny and ore uh, I also ranted to my students because I was so pissed off. So it's about this girl, Agadima. She wanted to study. I, at least that was how it started as. She wanted to study and go to the university. But some things happened to her. So we go through her life and how everything happened. This book started out well. But I don't know why in the middle daughter, the same thing kind of happened. Where the ladies don't have... Uh, they are not strong they just say yes 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 or they are just silent and timid that was all happened. She's, she was silent and timid and she kept on making wrong choices I, with everything that was happening even the the span the time span of everything happening it was too close for you to not actually have one rude awakening i i think that's how i felt and some parts were very irritating like the prophet part oh god that part was really really annoying and then the parts oh gosh god 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 why what well i let me just keep quiet okay i gave this a 2.5 stars i think it's better than the middle daughter but in my own opinion i feel like if i had not read these books uh nothing will have been added to my life you know i wish i didn't or something like that basically oh, god i'm trying not to sound so rude i'm trying not to you know discourage you from reading this book because well you might enjoy it because Kenny was just laughing all through. Kenny gave it a 3.5 stars and I'm like, oh, okay. But I gave it a 2.5 because I felt like I had to bring down my expectation so low. So when some things were happening, I was like, mm, okay, okay. And some parts made me laugh because they were so stupid and, and ridiculous. But then again, uh, I don't know. So the last book I read, well, not really the last book because... I started reading it in the middle of the month, but I could not continue. I was just not captivated by the story, and that's Blue Sisters by Coco Melos. Now, you guys will know that this is my second time trying this author. The first time was Cleopatra and Frankenstein, which was a very, very difficult book for me because I was bored and the characters were not relatable to me, basically to me, okay, specifically to me. Then it was a body read with my friends. So I also body read this with Kenny and Promise. <laughs> they finished it, praise God, but I could not. So it's about these three, four sisters, although one of the sisters is dead. So I think it's also following this little women narrative, which I need to read, of course. So I, I just got tired at 29%. I was like, nope, I don't think this author is for me. It's boring. Nothing is really happening. It's kind of pretentious, basically. So tell me how you guys feel. Tell me which ones you've read. Tell me which ones are your favorite. And I'm so happy. August was a very, very good reading month. And I hope that it will spill and spread into September. As you all know, September is my birth month. So, yes. I'm actually recording this before my birthday. And in 24 minutes, it will be a new month. It will be September. So, happy new month okay i forgot to say that because you guys don't see this video in september anyway anyway that's besides the point so thank you so much for watching please do not forget to hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys in my next video deuces